All right, guys, so I'm back with a quick one, man. I want to give you guys my follow-up, final follow-up on the MT33. Had this thing for about two months now, and I just want to give you guys my honest thoughts and opinions of it. Um, but before I start this video, just know that I'm sitting out here in the backyard. It's very calm right now. I'm about to get ready to read my Bible, but I thought about you guys really quick. So I said I was going to jump on here and give you guys this video. Um, just know that the dogs might bark. Hopefully the cicadas don't come out, but if it does, if any of that happens, just work with me. So I'm gonna make this really quick and painless, guys. MT33, I like this tripod, it's great. Uh, build quality on this thing is great. Uh, haven't had any issues with it, wear and tear on this thing, still looks brand new, and I use this thing almost every day. I mean, every time I record a video, if, I'm, if I don't have it on my big tripod, then I'm using this with a different, you know, ball head or whatever the case, which we'll get to in a hot minute. Um, but anyway, a couple of quick features about this thing is that you could put a mic here. You got a screw hole here in the front for an attachment. You also could put your camera up on the top here. You can all, it also has a uh, leveler. Then you also can open this up, throw your phone in right here, and then you also have another space for another accessory of your choosing. All right. So that's just some quick little uh, rundown. I don't want to hold y'all too long with this one. Just want to give you guys the follow up. All right. Now. Um, all the cool things about it, you can bend these up in place, do whatever you want to do, you know what I'm saying, and stick it to whatever you want to stick it to, hang it wherever you want to hang it, kind of like the uh, jo uh, Joby Gorilla Pods and stuff like that. Um, what I don't like about it, though, is that these legs are very skinny, so when I'm holding something like my 90D and I have it bent like this, like this, I just kind of don't like that grip. I prefer, like, the kind of fake Gorilla Pod I have my camera on right now. I prefer that Gorilla Pod feel because it gives me a little bit more in the hand, but this a little bit too skinny for me, so I don't really like that, but it does get the job done and it does work, all right? Another thing I don't like about it, which is the only other thing I don't like about this, is the fact that when I'm using my 90D with this, with my heavier lenses, so with my Sigma 18 to 35 or the 24 to 105, this ball head right here cannot hold those lenses in this camera. So, uh, give you a good example. Anytime I put those lenses in that camera on here, this ball head has a tendency to fall forward fall back or fall to the side. It never stays steady and even when I do uh, tighten it up in the position like this and then I put that camera on there, it still falls forward because this ball head is too small and it cannot support the weight of a heavy camera. So that's going to be the only thing I don't like about it because I do have a DSLR, Canon 90D, and I do have a tendency to put my bigger lenses on it. Right now I'm shooting on the 18 to 55 which is just kit lens, but it can hold the kit lens and the 90D. So you got kind of got a picky poison, right? But the solution I found to that is that you can get these legs, you can get this whole tripod and set up, set up right here, but you can also take this off. And what I've done is I've used my own personal one right here, which is a little bit more sturdy and a little bit more um, robust. So I could put my 90D on here with the Sigma and the 24 to 105, and this ball head right here is very sturdy and it has like a quick release plate. And on this one here, it can hold it really, really well with no issues. It doesn't fall over, it doesn't have any problems. Um, it can hold any lens and camera and the legs and everything work, no tipping over or nothing like that. So that's just kind of food for thought. If you're gonna get the MT33 with these, with this, this whole little setup right here, if you're gonna get it, just understand that you can only use, to me, any like lighter cameras. You know, you can't do anything that's front heavy, like putting like the heavy lenses on your, um, on your cameras because this ball head, this small ball head is just not gonna be able to do it. But just remember, you can always take it off and switch it out. So, you know, that's just kind of my quick little, you know, follow up on the MT33. Uh, do I recommend it? 100% I do recommend it, but I do want to compare it to the Gorilla Pod, like the Joby Gorilla Pod, the real ones, uh, because I have a fake one right now. So I do want to compare it to that. So I'll probably be getting one of those um, and just seeing how it stack up. Because again, the only other thing I don't like outside of the ball head not being able to hold my heavy camera with a heavy lens is this little narrow grip. I, like, I don't I really kind of don't like this narrow grip feel right here. I don't know why, I just, I just don't care for that. But again, this thing has been working. It's been holding up. Build quality is on point. You can't beat it. It looks nice. It fits the part. It fits real nice and snug in my bag and all of that good stuff, man. It's very easy to travel with because I've taken it around with me, man. But it's a, it's a goal, man. I feel like anybody can get it and will, and will enjoy it uh, and can find some use out of it, whether that be with your phone, your small camera, or even a big camera, as long as you switch it out. You see what I'm saying? So anyway, just a quick video on the MT33 after two months, man. Uh, I do recommend it. I think you guys should go take a look at it, man. If you're in the market for a little quick, small, easy tripod uh, just to get you get you out there in the field or to get you creating some videos or just some content, this will work for you. All right? Hopefully this video has been helpful. It's been your boy Jay. I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.